WGPR Detroit HD2. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. still works 313-366 diet and if you need to reach me directly uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one if you'd like that'd be great with me <laughs> okay uh, you can by 313-600-8532 oils 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 <laughs> um, I remember they was telling us to stay away from oils and all that good stuff but our body needs oil. Our brain needs oil. I know. 20% of our brain is lecithin, okay? 90% um, of a man's ejaculation is lecithin. So, you know, we jokingly say they man lose their head over woman, but we need lecithin. And it's normally would be in eggs, but the eggs they grow now, there's a bright yellow color to it and, oh, and it doesn't have that lesser than it okay there's uh, farm raised eggs it usually have an orange tint to it that's a hint hint that it uh, just might have some lesser than in it okay see the difference is <sighs> to go from an egg to a chicken usually takes about 14 weeks with the rapid growth hormones they give the chickens nowadays they do it in four weeks so that one is not going to have enough nourishments in it because it didn't follow God's plan, which is the 14-week plan. They went with man's plan, which is a four-week plan, and he ain't God. So you're missing stuff, okay? <laughs> but um, I wanted to get into the omega-3s. It's so, so beneficial and like, basically mandatory. It's about 30,000 functions our body does every day and I really believe in reading reports that omega-3 is involved in just about every one of them, just like vitamin D3. This particular company has gone overboard. I have one which I used up day by, I didn't bring it with me. It's called the Salmon Oil Plus. It has eight parts of the omegas, okay? This company here, the Noni Company, <laughs> they already broke down the eight parts, and um, so your body don't have to. Now, people say, oh, oh, what eight parts? Well, we've heard about omega-3, and some people heard about omega-6, but there's actually omega-1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <laughs> 9, and 11. And that's what's in this core care, all eight parts. So you have two choices. Uh, you can take it with uh, the omega-3s with all these brothers and sisters, okay? Or you can take the other one, the phantom one here, called Salmon Oil Plus, that um, has the eight parts in it, and your body breaks it down, okay? Either way, you're going to get the benefits, and it's so, so important. Uh, as to why. Um, now, just a little bit from this old book here. Um, essential fatty acids, okay, with a bunch of them, are major components of our cell membrane, all right? Without them, the membranes 
are unable to function. Essential fatty acids, uh, circuitry health, and integrates, uh, no, wait a minute. The EFAs convert into polyprostaglandiums, hormone-like cell messengers. So you see your cells talk to each other. They need the EFA to enhance that communication. That are instrumental to energy production, also give you energy, and vital to circulatory health, enhancing the circulation of the nourishments in your body, and integrate to good metabolism. The brain, when its water weight is removed, consists primarily of essential fatty acids, EFA. Mental symptoms that arise from uh, uh, the lack of essential fatty acids include attention deficit disorder, you know, the ADD, violent behavior. <laughs> Whoever thought that oil will help keep you cool, calm, and collected? Now, some of the folks may be experiencing this memory loss. I mean, as they could say, the reasons and the reasons go more and more. Autism. Wouldn't it be great if we start taking omega-3 to an autistic child and they reverse their condition or at least improve it? Mental retardation, okay, getting all the kids off the yellow bus. Anxiety, depression, symptoms, what all these lies going about, like they've been doing, they've been lying for since <laughs> participated in the riots and I would see things myself and they look at the news and they totally to my flip the script oh god and I like now I've had grew up in school you try public schools and they tell me what's on the you know the news and the print you know it's the truth because you know they have all these editors to make sure folks are telling the truth I had like 17 years of that and then when the riots came and I was out and about checking things out, and then I look at the news, and wait a minute, that's not how that happened. <laughs> you know, I said, these folks is straight up lying. And ever since then, since 67 Detroit riots, <laughs> I stopped believing in the news. You know, so I just feel fortunate. Headaches and seizures, a lack of Essential fatty acids, the omegas, functions as components of nerve cells and uh -oh, nerve membranes, hormone like substances known as pentangandians, because uh, the different uh, acids uh, from the uh, lactic acid form entire different. Proscandians. Researchers have found that manipulating the type of dietary oils a person ingests can dramatically alter body function. In some cases, treat diseases. <laughs> a diet rich in plant food results in low levels of saturated fats, relatively high levels of essential fatty acids. Okay. Elements associated with, with essential fatty acid deficiencies include emphysema, uh, pityasis, lupus, hair loss, heart disease, diabetes, arthritis. You know, Dr. Wilder got a they cured arthritis 300 years ago with animals. Diabetes, they cured that since 1957. Okay. Loss of attention acuity, memory, <laughs> sterility, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel symptoms, teenage and adult acne, and respiratory diseases like asthma. <laughs> God is just so wonderful if we follow his plan. So we're not lacking drugs, medication. We're lacking these nourishments that you talk about in this book from uh, Linda uh, 
Then the page, uh, healthy healing. I don't think this is out no more. And the oils that our body needs every day. Matter of fact, uh, let me jump right into, if I can find this right quick. 10 health benefits of omega-3s. All right? A little pre. Deciding to get healthy is an important and praiseworthy decision. decision. It requires a lot of planning and habit changing, conditioning, and programming. Um, it takes nerve to, get, to go against the stuff that we grew up with uh, because we're getting it from my mom and daddy, teachers and preachers. And how much did we get from television? Whether it was cartoons or the news or whatever, or the movies, is part of the programming. And it's hard to get away from that. Meditation helps because you're spending time with God. You're listening to God. Prayer helps because you're spending time talking to God. And you just got to take time to listen to what God is telling each and every one of us. So to do these things, it requires nerve, which is a calcium. So the changing the habits. Among those alter alterations is the necessary inclusion of some nutrients. The vitamins, the minerals, the trace minerals, the fatty acids, the precursors, the uh, friendly bacteria, probiotics, all live food, all made by the Creator. This doesn't only include protein and good carbohydrates, but also fats. We are taught to fear fats from a young age, but this fear is completely unfound. Take the champion of all. Uh, Fatty acids, omega-3, that's the number one, the baddest of them, all eight of them, as an example. That is one fat that you would not want to cut back on. Not only is omega-3 essential for the functioning of your body, that means your body cannot do without it. It's made by God. And it will function for a little while without it, but you have aches and pains along the way, which is God's signal that what you're doing is, is not enough, nutritionally speaking. Not only is omega-3 essential for functioning of your body, but there are also loads of benefits of omega-3. The unfortunate part is that people are still unaware of the marvelous properties of omega-3. It affects your whole body and can significantly improve the quality of your life. Some people think, well, I'm going to die anyway. Okay. But it's the quality of that journey. It's not necessarily the destination. Because once you get to the destination, you're going to create another destination. Okay. The time is, less time is spent in the destination and more time is spent getting to the destination. Okay. That is the quality of life. Spending time getting to the destination. And then another humbling exercise is, is appreciation. Have an attitude of gratitude of just simple things. When you even ask yourself, what can I be appreciative of today? All right? Now you tap it into your healing powers. It's not just about your life either. Omega-3 can also improve the, the development of your baby's life, future baby's life. Okay? infants, the growth of infants. Because of these benefits, it's important to get one thing straight. Fatty acids are not the Satan 
of nutrients. That's because <laughs> see, if you get the oils in, your chances of getting sick is less and less. So if you don't get sick, that means you ain't going to the hospital, you ain't going to see the doctor, and it can't make no money. Now, now the the drug companies control ninety six percent of the media. So it's interesting that ain't but two countries in the world that allow the drug companies to advertise, get in people's face about their products. New Zealand, I think, is one in the United States. Now, we spend more money on drugs when and uh, <laughs> more money on health, medical health, okay? than all other countries in the world combined. But we not getting the bang for the buck. We're not. Because if we were, we wouldn't be going to the doctors <laughs> and we wouldn't be getting the prescription drugs and they wouldn't be making trillions of dollars to take over our government. <laughs> it's, it, hey, ain't nothing like a plan. Develop your plan and work your plan. Well, that's what the folks is doing. They're showing us what has to be done. If you want to make some changes worldwide. Good morning, everybody. This is Mikael from HealthWise Enterprise. The health food store is located at 3807 East 8 Mile Road, about three blocks west of Ryan, between Ryan and DeQuinta. And we're there to service you from Monday through Saturday from 10 to 7. And... You can reach us at 586-757-DIET. Again, that's 586-757-3438. Our old number still works, 313-366-DIET. And if you want to reach me directly, you can at 313-600-8532. Um, a friend of mine had called me the other day about solution for migraine headaches. Well, it's always been my experience that when people have headaches and you have a bowel movement, the headache either go away or is greatly reduced. So I would suggest even for the migraine headaches, which I know is 10 times more intense and from what I hear, um, I zero in on cleaning that colon. You know, so... Uh, you know, the easiest way is dealing with oxy powder. And the people would take uh, four pills a day for seven days. But when you're dealing with migraines, you want to deal with a build up of toxins. So you might want to do like we did with the um, uh, people who've had um, uh, uh, what they call it, um, that uh, the blockages uh, uh, that they have. Uh, when they had a protrusions in the colon, um, it, the name will come to me. Um, but we've had people that took four pills every day for 30 days. And those build up of protrusions in the colon, uh, diverticulitis, they were dissolved in 30 days by taking four pills every day for 30 days based on what this, well now it's about four or five clients that have experienced that. And that would, if it was me, that would be my uh, way of attacking that disease. Would be to take the oxy powder, four pills at night, about three hours after the last meal, uh, for thirty days straight. And then after that, taking the four pills every other day. The main thing with any cleansers, you got to lubricate the colon. How you do that is through drinking water how much water is based on your body weights okay so for every two pounds you weigh you should drink one ounce of water based on what dick gregory shared with us so a 200 pound person would drink 100 ounces okay and to, in the daytime to lubricate the colon because the oxy powder you take at night about three hours after your last meal we say three hours because to give you by at least three hours get the nourishments out of your last meal Okay, and hopefully that meal is some healthy foods. Um, uh, we call it like a rainbow salad. It can be a rainbow fruit salad, rainbow uh, vegetable salad, 
Um, uh, last last night, my wife had made up uh, some gumbo, and you know, and it had all these colors in it: red and yellow and green. You know, all these vegetables in it, plus you know, some seafood. You know, because we just make she made a seafood gumbo, okay, and it was of course very delicious. Um, so thank you for that, wifey. Um, oh, speaking about that, we just celebrated our 29th anniversary of going together boyfriend and girlfriend <laughs> so send a shout out to uh uh to my wife and uh, and to god uh and uh thanking god for teaching me how to say yes dear <laughs> anyway 10 ways to reduce migraine headaches okay um now this is uh from deborah weatherspoon who has phd and rn and c R E N A, and of course it was written by this Annette McDarmont. Um, migraines aren't typical headaches. If you experience them, you know you may experience pounding pain, nausea, and sensitivity to light and, and sound. When a migraine strikes, you do almost anything to make it go away. When you're dealing with nausea, Okay, um, I keep thinking about the civil water, spraying it up the nose, okay, um, and that's um, two, what, the way I do it. I spray two times up, up each nostril, and then I breathe in deeply, okay. They tell us that virus is cold, it all starts in the eyes based on what Wayne was sharing with us, so we always blink real fast and spray the eyes. And additionally, they tell us that colds and virus like to grow and populate in the nasal passages in our lungs. So people are sprayed anywhere from two to ten times, like once every hour, um, ten hours in a row, uh, up the nose. And they breathe it in deeply. And then lately, I've been adding closing. After you breathe, you spray, breathe in deeply, and then close one nostril, breathe in deeply on that side, and close the other nostril, breathe in deeply on that side. Now, at least once. You can do that. If you did it five times every day, you'd be surprised how it balances out uh, your body. Um, natural remedies are a drug-free way to reduce migraine symptoms. These at-home treatments may help prevent migraines or at least help reduce their severity and duration. Okay. I'm into natural ways, which is a fancy way of saying God's ways. Severe migraines may require treatment from prescription or over-the-counter drugs, medication. To talk to your doctor about treatment plan for you. Okay. Now, the first things they recommend which I highly endorse, is avoiding hot dogs. But I don't stop there. I say all processed, processed foods, okay? And um, because they're loaded with nitrates, nitrites, pesticides, and herbicides, they grow with glyconate. You know, it's just horrible, okay? But all those poisons uh, get into your body, and based on what they're suggesting, it causes a dis-ease, Diet may play a, a vital role in preventing migraines. Many foods and beverages are known migraine triggers, such as hot dogs, food with nitrates, including deli meats, uh, bacon, sausages, spam, uh, bologna, okay. Um, now, the, the chocolates, I would say the milk chocolates, all right, um... The dark chocolates, the cocoas, I don't know about that one. But cheeses that uh, contain a natural occurring compound, uh, tryptamine, uh, such as uh, blue and feta and cheddar and parmesan and Swiss, okay, may trigger that migraine. Alcohol, especially red wines. Now, some people say red wines is good for you, you know, uh, here we're talking about uh, alcohol being harmful to you. Our water that we have at Healthwise, okay, that you know, folks come get 
And um, it's so powerful. You could put in your wine bottle uh, two or three, four, five, ten drops of our water in your wine bottle. And they said it would affect the wine. Not the quality or the alcohol content, but just has a positive effect on the wine. Um, foods. Oh, this is good because a lot of Chinese places or Oriental places use this. But they're not just stop there. Other places use it too. And this is MSG, Montosodium gluconate. Okay. It's, I think it's 10 or 25 times um, stronger than salt, but it's cheaper. I mean, salt is cheap, and then MSG is cheaper. Stay away from foods that use MSG. Foods that are very cold, such as ice cream or cold drinks. Again, these might be triggers that affect the migraines. Uh, processed food, pickle food. Uh, beans, dried fruit, uh, cultured jerry foods, such as buttermilk, sour cream, and yogurt. These are all foods that may. So what you want to do is when you eat, you want to make a list of all the foods. And if it's certain foods that trigger the migraine, that's the indication you need to balance out your body. Because the first thing I think about is that taking the noni juice. Because we've had people that was allergic to, say, shellfish. They're taking the noni juice, and the scientists used to tell us off the beaten path and off the records that, People who used to be allergic to shellfish or used to be allergic to this or used to be allergic to that, taking one or two ounces of noni juice every day with, you know, eight ounces of water, they just might not be allergic to those things. And when the people came back from that meeting with those scientists off the record now, who was allergic for years, decades to shellfish, ate some shellfish, no allergic reaction because they had built up their immune system with the noni juice because the noni got over 250 nutraceuticals. So it gives your body what it needs to have balance it out, okay? A small amount of caffeine may ease migraines in some people. So you got the other part. So you have to figure out what it is about you. Caffeine is also uh, uh, some migraines uh, medication. Okay, you get some drugs that may have the caffeine in it. But too much caffeine may cause a migraine. It may also lead to severe caffeine withdrawal headaches. To figure out which foods and beverages triggers your migraine, keep a daily diary of the foods that you eat, okay? And... Record everything you eat and how it makes you feel afterwards. Now, get into some of the oils. Again, natural ways of um, people getting relief. Lavender oil. We got the lavender oil. Okay, you can put on your body. Uh, whatever you put on your body goes in your body. Um, some people take the lavender oil and they put it right up under their nostril, or maybe even put it in their nostril. So they're breathing it all day. That'd be real strong, okay? Uh, some people take the lavender, put it on their pillow, or put it in a, a lavender in a cotton, little cotton ball, and put it on underneath their pillowcase. So they're breathing in all night long, because it's in to prevention, okay? Um, lavender and uh, essential oils may ease migraine pain. According to uh, 2012 research, people who inhaled lavender oil during a migraine attack for 15 minutes experienced faster relief than those who inhaled a, a placebo. Lavender oil may be inhaled directly or applied diluted to the temples. Okay. This, some people put it up under the nose. Some people rub it on the temples. The lavender oil. Again, natural ways. Uh, here they suggestion uh, trying acupuncture. What made me think when you say the acupuncture is about tapping, uh, because tapping has been used in Africa and some of the deep parts of Africa when they didn't have no medical supplies and it's helped people with 
all kind of major conditions. So acupuncture, if you can get it, or learn about tapping, okay? Uh, acupuncture is the practice applying pressure with the nails and the fingers to specific points on the body to relieve pain and other symptoms. So those same points is on the bottom of your foot, okay? Uh, acupuncture, according to a 2014 uh, review, is incredibly alternative therapy for people in pain with chronic headaches and other conditions. A separate study found acupuncture may help relieve migraine-associated nausea. So don't discount some of these old ways because these ways have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. See, it was Rockefeller who took over the medical you know, schools and had them you know, change their formulas from using natural ways to heal people to using just drugs and uh, performing um, uh, what you call the operations and, and do these tests. Okay, before he came around and bought out all the medical schools, people was using natural methods. People, with, doctors were coming to your house and give you an enema. Okay, because I mentioned about the oxy powder getting the poisons out. Enema is one way you're using a half a gallon of water to put in your colon to get those poisons out. A colonics, they may use five or ten gallons of water. They don't put it all in at once, obviously. They just put a little bit in beside you and you let it out, just like you do an enema. Enema, you just use what well, the container as a half a gallon. I use a gallon myself. I use the first one with some coffee enema, and then I do the second one um, uh, with cold with some uh, food grade hyperoxide, or I may use the black strap molasses, or I may use the apple cider vinegar. Okay, um, uh, you know these things are some of the things I may use some garlic water. Okay, these things are some of the things that I use with the cold enema. I so I use do a gallon, um, but here doctors don't do the enema. After they took enemas out of the medical books in 1970, so for years. They was using natural ways to promote healing, and they're teaching that in medical schools. I think the only thing they teach natural now is that people, how people have prayed diseases out of themselves and out of other people. I hope they go back to using natural methods and teaching that in medical schools. Okay, I haven't been to medical schools. I'm just sharing with you what other people have shared with me. Another oil besides the lavender oil is the peppermint oil. All right? It's... Again, I believe, well, here we go. The menthol and peppermint oil may stop a migraine from coming on, according to a 2010 study. The study found that applying a menthol solution, peppermint, to the forehead and temples are more effective than applying a placebo for migraine-associated pain, nausea, and light sensitivity. All right? Um... Now, they got another natural way is ginger, okay? It's all things that God made. Ginger is known to ease nausea caused by many conditions, including migraines. It may also have uh, uh, migraine benefits. According to research, ginger power decreases migraine sterility and duration as well as its prescription drug with fewer side effects, okay? So you remember they tell you. They don't tell you the drugs usually uh, cause you anywhere from 200 to 500 harmful side effects. But we will tell you because other folks have told us. A fourth, a seventh way here is yoga. Yoga using breathing, meditation, and body posture to improve health and well-being Based on this research, yoga sh shows it may relieve the frequency, the duration, and intensity of migraines. It starts to improve anxiety, release tension in the um, migraine trigger areas, and improve vascular health. Although research concludes it's too soon to recommend yoga as a primary treatment 
for the migraines. They believe yoga supports overall health and may benefit as a complementary treatment. Yoga, meditation, okay, I know meditation help relieve some of the stress. There be no doubt about it in my mind. Um, it's this lady that I've been studying with, uh, basically at least seriously by the last couple of months. Been doing meditation for years. But this lady, Emily Fletcher, is taking it to another level. And from my experience, and my family experience, so it's Emily, E-M-I-L-Y, and Fletcher, F-L-E-T-C-H-I-N-G. Oh, no, no, not Fletcher. <laughs> F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R. Okay. Go to YouTube. Check out Emily Fletcher. Start practicing some of the things that she give away free. I paid for that information. She's giving it away free on YouTube. So it's there. She's got one of the best ways of meditating. She spent three years in uh, Tibet, I think it is, the Far East, brought it back to the United States and worked on it, how we can still be conscious. We don't have to be in a cave and being silent. We can be conscious of all our senses and still get into a deep meditation. The advantage of meditation, besides dealing with migraines it it helps to relieve the stress that we have experienced our whole life that's built up in our brain makes it difficult to sleep makes it difficult to get healed because you're dealing with stress remember stress kills so if you meditate relieving the stress i would assume stress extends your life or extends the fun in your life or the love in your life for definitely okay so we got the yoga we got the meditation a dimension here biofeedback i'm not sure what all that is but they say biofeedback is a relaxing method it teaches you to control uh the atomic reaction to stress biofeedback may be helpful for migraine triggered by physical reaction to stress such as muscle tension number nine here magnesium to the diet which is important anyway. I call this the big four, dealing with muscles and your joints and your heart, the ligaments. It's the calcium, magnesium, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2. Those four work synergistically together to help and give your body what it needs to for the bones and for the heart and for the ligaments and the tensions. And here they're talking about magnesium deficiency is linked to headaches and migraines. Studies show magnesium oxide supplementation help prevent migraines with aura. You know, that light around everybody. When you get the migraine, you can see that aura. Some people can see the aura around people without a migraine. If you zero in on them, and get into your higher self, you can see it. We all have those abilities. Or may uh, it may also prevent menstrual-related migraines. I would think that those poisons that's in some of those pads, based on the research we have gotten from other folks, will contribute to their migraines or the migraines uh, or the tampons, get, get poisons in them. So at we at HealthWise, we have a natural pads, okay, that not only do um, uh, have, um, doesn't have any poisons in them, the absorbability is high. We have did demos where they hold as much as eight ounces, which is four times more than a, a woman bleeding profusely from her... Uh, monthly cycles. I'd say, say the most a woman will lose in a day is two ounces. We did and put eight ounces in this pad and it didn't drip, didn't cause any embarrassment, leaking. Okay. So we have several pads that we use for women, whether heavy or light or drippings or liners. We carry that. 
And those poisons is in a lot of those pads, I would think may contribute to the migraine if it's coming from the um, from that source. Now, you can get magnesium from foods if it's grown on mineral-rich soil. That's the key. These foods is almonds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, cashews, peanut butter, oatmeal, eggs, and milk. So, I would say it was uh, organically grown, it would more than likely have the magnesium in it. Uh, the eggs and milk, fertile eggs, and milk from cows that was grazed in grass. All right, because they give cows uh, corn, which cause kali, and then they give them a drug to neutralize the kali. Well, when you eat that uh, cow or drink the milk from that cow, guess what? You're getting those drugs too. So, it's one of my favorite ways dealing with migraine is a massage. Um, which involves another person working your muscles throughout from your head to your toe. It is great. All right. Um, you can't get the massage. There's a machine called Tim Tams. I've seen athletes in football fields using these Tim Tams. Or, uh, 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 we have a machine that punctuates. Uh, uh, different organs and muscles in your body brings blood to them. So if you get the nourishment into your body, it's going to bring blood to that area. But it's extremely relaxing. Just another way of dealing with this. Okay. Um, alternative therapies for migraines. Now, they... Uh-oh. I had... Um, Well, they mention, because sometimes when you're trying to share some things, sometimes these telephones and technology will interfere, uh, especially that kind of lets me know that we're on point. When you're dealing with that pain, it's this herb and it's in Southeast Asia. They've been using it for over 2,000 years, like the Noni called Kritin, K-R-A-T-O-M. We have it at HealthWise, but people take like two to four pills. And a guy introduced it to me. He had dislocated joints. And it was excruciating pain. Uh, I guess it's like all his life. He was born with it or something. Anyway, he was taking uh, pain pills, opioids. And then when the doctor wouldn't give him no more, went to meth pain, the meth. Then when he couldn't get no more of that, he went to heroin. Okay, I never knew people that's dealing with heroin was really was motivated by pain because heroin gets rid of that pain. But he told me he went through all of those steps and then somebody told him about crit. Critton, excuse me. When he started taking that, release the pain. So it's another natural method that's available. Into it, another one was drinking water. <laughs> How that works? I don't know, but this is on the suggestion list. I had it all written down. Um, but uh, what happened to it, who knows? Okay. And I was trying to get um, uh, other methods to, um, to uh, and, they, and they gave me, when I first looked at this, it gave me all of that. Now, this time, I... I I'm not getting it. But I wrote them down. White willow bark. You know the the natives 
uh, what they call Indians, okay, uh, the black folks that was already here in America, okay, uh, they told the new settlers about white water bark, how it gets rid of the headache when drinking that uh, uh, that alcohol <laughs> that you know that they brought over here. Folks have a hangover. Well, the natives use white water bark to deal with that headache. Well, they mentioned the white willow bark on the list. And it's interesting because I found out that the white willow bark is anti-inflammatory. That's one thing. Uh-oh, we got a call. Yes, caller, you got a question or comment? Okay, I don't know what happened. I can't hear them. Um, maybe they'll come in a different way. Okay. Uh, the caller, I guess they hung up. Anyway, uh, a white water bark, another thing that I wrote about, is antioxidant. So it's inflammatory and antioxidant. Okay. I'm dealing with, um, I could say, the white water bark. Uh-oh. I was trying to find these other ways. Okay. Um Now, we mentioned the lavender, but we, did, we didn't mention valerian as far as dealing with our pain. When I went down earlier, um, um, we had, uh, it gave me a whole list. It said valerian, um, colander, colander seeds has helped people, again, with, uh, with the migraines. Okay, um, now I miss Dr. Makoda's website as far as uh, giving me good information, but I found Healthline is another good source where I'm dealing with this migraine. It's Healthline, all right? Um, Healthline slash uh, headaches, migraines. It gives you all these real good information. Of course, they even give you some drugs, okay, that um, they they recommend. Um, I'm going to get this from my friend. It's an oboro-resistant uh, liquid. That, and I keep seeing this on here dealing with for, for the migraines. Um, so I got I to gotta get that for uh, for them. Um, in uh, Daquan, D O N G Q U I A, it's another herb, another one of God's formulas that is listed as dealing with um, a migraine. Um, so I'm just getting so many other ways in here from, uh, from the same website. Um, Healthline dealing with uh, migraines. Five ways to support loved ones living with migraine during this um, uh, holiday season. I simply understand can go a long ways. Somebody who's suffering. Okay. When you say that, if you can visualize from your heart, love coming from your heart to their heart or to their whole body. You don't have to tell them. you just sending them love. Just do it. You'd be surprised how powerful. Because love is the most powerful energy on the planet. We use that to help heal our friends. And you don't have to be in front of them to do that. It's been proven that when you have plants, and if you're thinking about hurting one of your plants, like cutting it or poisoning it or... or or uh, I'm rooting it. If you think about that, you could be on the other side of town. Your plants pick that up. Those are some of the studies. That's because that's why hugging a tree is so profound. Leading into the holidays with migraine can feel inc inc incredibly daunting. Living with chronic migraines through my 20s I'm no stranger to the marathon of triggers that can accomplish traveling 
increased activity and festive celebration. Learning to communicate my migraine needs to my family and close friends was dramatically helped smooth some of the more turbulent and difficult moments this season can hold. If you have close relationship with someone with migraine, I hope these triggers can inspire and empower you to give them some of the greatest gifts of maneuvering through this. Understand support and compassion with the loved ones who are suffering from the migraine. Respond mindfully to council plans. Navigate migraine-related counseling plans can trigger an, uh, an avalanche of guilt and shame. This is especially true during the holidays when we most want to connect with the people we love. And speaking about that, I just want to put out there that this teacher, she used the food grade hyperoxide, took one ounce of the 35%, put it in a gallon of water, used that to go into her humidifier in her classroom, and none of her students got sick, and neither did she. Well, on both sides, people in that classroom was not only getting sick from colds and flus, okay, but they start having lice and things. Now, why these teachers don't want to listen to this other teacher, some people say, well, the teacher that was using it, she black, and the other teachers was white, Whatever. Hydroxide don't care if you're black or white. Okay? It will kill the poisons in the air based on studies that I've ran across. So when people are getting together for the family, dinners, I mean, it's so important for us to connect with one another, to hug one another, to see one another. I mean, they say that people in prison, one of the worst things you can do is put them in isolation. Okay? That's forced isolation. If you staying home because of this planned pandemic, then you you are voluntarily putting yourself in isolation, which causes stress, which may be triggered to the migraines. It's interesting how it all works together. Versus hanging out with family and friends during the holidays is so healing. <laughs> It, for me, all right. I don't know about with you, but when I hang out with my family and friends, which include you, it's so healing. Laughter is so healing. An invisible illness, migraine, is so often misunderstood, dismissed, or doubted by others. When a loved one reaches out and says they are <clears throat> unable to attend an event due to a migraine, know that. How you respond to this information can impact the harsh disappointment of a migraine flare-up. Reassure them from others that I will be missed and that I am loved just as much whether I attend or not. It dramatically quiets the intentional dialogue of criticism that uh, causes uh council plans can contribute. Understanding replaces these feelings with thoughts of self-compassion. When someone has to cancel at the last minute, <clears throat> excuse me, let them know that you understand their migraine symptoms are not their fault and remind them that they have nothing to feel guilty about. Lastly, although Council plans for migraine and symptoms are disappointing for everyone involved. Not try not to forget that the person counseling had to cope with their physical pain on top of emotional disappointment. Trust that your thoughtful words of support can be a lantern of light, of warmth and love during the involve, involving darkness of pain from a migraine attack. It's so important, no matter what you do, is to send them some love. And whatever illness or disease, send them that love. It's so important. Ask how you can help in advance. Now you got this list. I mean, one stands out is the lavender, 
You got the peppermint. You can put that in um, uh, in your humidifier, the lavender and the peppermint. You can have a um, diffuser, which would be even a stronger scent of the lavender and mint. They can have it in their house. You can give it to them as a Christmas gift. You can just give them the oil. Tell them to uh, try that on the temples. Okay. Um, try breathing it in. You know, these are some couple of things you can share with them. All right. That may, they just may show up. Or we tell them, look, come with the headache anyway with the migraine. And I got a couple of things that I learned. Okay. Uh, from um, Mikael from HealthWise by way of God because he the one pointing me to this website that may help or if you got some peppermint try these okay I know I understand you can't make it but try these okay so you can live your life with joy and happiness Having migraine allies, which is what you will become, helping your friends with migraines while navigating the holidays is invaluable. I mean, not like love and support. A short, intentional conversation before the harvesting ramps up about how you can best support your loved ones through the season can make a world of difference. Every single person who experienced mig- migraine, they experience it differently. So be sure to listen to what a person needs before offering advice. It's so important to listen. The best way to find out someone's unique migraine needs is to set aside your own assumptions and instead just ask them and listen from your heart. Like when a woman say you you don't hear me, they're not talking about the physical words. They talking about the emotion from the words. You want not only hear me, want you to feel these words. And when you do that, woman or anybody will feel that you're totally listening to them. You done took your shoes off and put their shoes on. That's totally listening. Okay. That's totally the trusting. That's totally the mature. Because you got enough confidence in yourself that you can take your shoes off and put their shoes on without losing who you are. To me, that's God's way. That's Jesus' way. That's how Jesus spoke to folks. That's how Jesus did what he do. And anybody to idolize would be Jesus. He came here to show us how it's done. <laughs> I'm going to get off of that one, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he didn't talk about Jesus and he didn't showed up here. I guess he didn't already showed up. I'm talking about him. So that's so important to have God in your life. Remember, it's teaching medical schools that people have prayed diseases out of themselves and out of the other folks. That's a good note to end this show on. It's talking about God. Because he has blessed us in so many different ways. He blessed us at HealthWise. He blessed us in my life, whether it be at HealthWise. He led me to even get into this business since I was 18. So I want to thank God. I want to thank you for sharing this information with our community. You can give us a call at 586-757-DIET. Again, that's 586-757-DIET. Our old number still works, 313-366-DIET. And with me, you reach me. That's the text, okay? <laughs> but 313-685. And then visiting us, 3807 East 8 Mile, and about three blocks west of Ryan, between Ryan and DeQuinta. And we're there to service you Monday through Saturday from 10 to 7. Thanks for tuning in. But more importantly, thanks for sharing this information what our family and friends you may even turn an enemy into a friend when you show him love and promoting him getting healthy and nothing like it remember love is the most powerful energy on the planet peace and love (laughs) y'all